Okay, welcome to iLecture Online, and here we show you an example of how to take the derivative of two functions. Uh, notice that uh, actually there are three functions if you want to think about it. Here you have the first function, here I have two more functions, a numerator, denominator, and so right away you look at it and go, okay, if this is multiplied by that, I need the product rule, and this divided by this, I need the quotient rule, so that means we're going to need the quotient rule and the product rule all together here in this one problem. All right, let's see how that works. So you want to take the derivative, y prime, and you have this multiplied times this. So you're going to use the product rule first. You take the first, which is 2x squared minus x, times the derivative of the second. Now, the second is a quotient. So to take the derivative of that, you have to, find, you have to use the quotient rule, which means you're going to take the denominator, x plus 2, times the derivative of the numerator, which in this case is simply a 1, because the derivative, the derivative, oh my, that's a tongueful, isn't it? The derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of 1 is 0, so that simply is 1. So it's the denominator times the derivative of the numerator, minus the numerator, which is x minus 1, times the derivative of the denominator, in this case that's simply a 1, all divided by the denominator squared, x plus 2 quantity squared. Now, what I usually do when I do something like this, I reset myself. I start over again. I say, okay, this is a product. So it's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second, because sometimes you get lost of where you were actually at. So now plus the second, which is x, plus, x minus 1 over x plus 2 times the derivative of the first, and that would be times 4x to the first power minus 1. So maybe you want to put parentheses around that. Okay, so again, this is the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And that's the answer. Now you probably want to simplify this if you can. So let's do that. So we have y prime is equal to 2x squared minus x <clears throat> times, when you multiply this out, you get x plus 2 minus x minus 1. So that's um, x plus 2 minus x, and a minus times a minus is plus 1, all over x plus 2 quantity squared. And that'd be plus x minus 1 over x plus 1, oh, x plus 2, pardon me, times 4x minus 1, all right? And then uh, we combine like terms, so we have x minus x that disappears, 2 plus 1 is 3, so we have y prime is equal to 2x squared minus x times 3 over x plus 2 quantity squared plus x minus 1 over x plus 2 all times 4x minus 1. And now you realize that we have two terms. We have this term plus this term right here. And if you take a close look at that, you may realize, oh, I have a 1 over x plus 2 squared, and we have a 1 over x plus 2 there. We could factor that out. Anything else we can factor out? No, it doesn't look like it. So technically, we can say y prime is equal to 1 over x plus 2 times, then here we still have 2x squared minus x. We could also factor out an x here if we really wanted to, times 3, all divided by x plus 2, because now we only have one left. Plus, notice the x plus 2 is gone, so this leaves us with an x minus 1 times a 4x minus 1, like so. And yes, technically we could factor out an x if we wanted to, but that's good enough for here. All right, that's how you do a problem like this. How do you find the derivative of something where you have to use both the product rule and the quotient rule in the same problem? All right, on to the next example.